Yo, oh. what's up? Hello, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Barry, the thing I like about this job is that you get to muck around doing stuff that I used to do when I was about eight. So we got to make some chocolate cups. The uh, context behind this is we're sick of washing up and we like eating ice cream. So we thought, <laughs> why not be able to eat the bowls and plates and the ice cream at the same time? Then, let's be honest, Ben doesn't have to wash it up. So it's fine, everyone's happy. All you had to do was, step one, get some balloons. Step two, blow them up. <laughs> Step three, dip them in chocolate. Wait, wait, wait. Was we, missed right? bit, we missed out the bit about um, breaking the chocolate. Should we start, uh, let's Just rewind. Break it up, put it into a microwave. Oh, then we blew some balloons up and then we dipped the ends of the balloons in the melted chocolate as so. You're probably seeing that on your screen now. Yeah, you are. And um, Mike, you got a little bit creative when you tried to make... Well, yeah, because I was really passionate about making a champagne flute. Basically, we blew up the balloon and kept the air out of the, uh, the long dangly bit. The nib. Bit. The nib, yeah. Made it really long, covered that in chocolate, and then put a pool of chocolate and rested it on there. But obviously, uh, gravity being as irritating as it is, kept on knocking the balloon over. So... You got inventive and made some scaffolding. Rather creatively, doors. which held it up. Not as stupid as you look. Then we waited for that lot to dry. Yeah, I think we left it a little bit too long. Um, yeah. And then, the fun bit, popping the balloons. That's good fun. Uh, we had a bit of a learning curve. If you pop it, then the balloon tends to get stuck to the chocolate and you can't peel it off. No. So Deflate it slowly, lift it out. Mm. But be careful of the chocolate, as it is quite fragile. Yeah, cack-handed Baz here. It's gonna work if you don't approach it with your usual heavy-handedness. What? Oh. 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 And then basically fill it with whatever you like. Uh, I put ice cream in mine. I need a scoop. And you put... Ben made me a banana milkshake to put in my goblet. Well, I think this has been quite a success. What about you, Ben? These are good. I like them. We've got liquid containers and solid containers. And you can eat them. What more could you want? Well, they were delicious. Um, I would recommend doing them at home because they were really, yeah, really cool. Yeah, it was a laugh. And we would love to see them, so make sure you send your photos into our Facebook page. Yeah, Twitter, Instagram, hashtag sorted food, and then it comes straight up on our website. Yeah. Booyah! A carbine and website, that's weak. Is that right? No. <laughs> we made the very highly requested Battenberg cake. Yes, we did, and we also had steak and mushroom pudding. Also, skills-wise... Hey, skills bruv! Yep. We used our ninja skills to prepare some more potatoes. So you've already had two, another two extra on this website this week. So you've got four ways to deal with potatoes, those troublesome things. <gasps> so that looks like another week finished. Mm -hmm. um, as you can probably tell, we're struggling to know how to end these fridge cams. So let's have some suggestions from you lot. So um, we're just going to keep it going until I get an idea. Mm. Oh, I got one. Nah, wasn't worth it. Nah. <laughs>